Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunflower Cottage Crochet. I am Sarah, and today's yarn review is all about Lion Brand Softball Yarn. As you can see before you, I have three colors of quite a few that they have. Um, I really like how soft and silky this yarn is, but you would be surprised to know that this is not an acrylic yarn. More on that in just a moment. What I do want to tell you though, is what these color names are. So this is Crush, the white is very white. Um, the silver is Mercury, it's very pretty. And this yellow is called Eagles. So I think it has a lot to do with team names, hence the word softball. I'm gonna bring back this Eagles color. Um, as you may or may not know, Pantone's color of the year is yellows. Um, so I did happen to get the yellow that they had available. So a little something about softball is that it is considered a super bulky, super chunky number five. It is a three and a half ounce hundred gram ball. It has 83 yards or 76 meters and it is 100% polyester. It's machine wash and dryable. So you'll need a nine millimeter hook to work with this, or if you're a knitter, six millimeter number 10 needles. Now, I used a five and a half mil um, hook to make the scarf or cowl, which is the Samantha Taupe cowl. And I used obviously all three colors to make this. Now, it worked up beautifully. It is worked in the round. This is the opposite side. It's super shiny and super soft and silky. And um, I just, I love how this feels. It worked up nice and easy. And it, when I had to pull out some stitches, it didn't catch and do silly things like that. So, um, and I was able to weave in the ends like I normally do and it didn't kind of catch and tear and rip. So, um, yeah, I was trying to find there's my join. So it it really just worked out really well. But as you can see, the colors look really pretty together. Um, I just, I really like how this turned out. It's a really pretty cowl, by the way. Um, you can catch the story behind it on our blog, or you can find the pattern on any of our pattern stores, which I will leave a link to in the description box below. A little something more about this softball yarn is that it is a single ply wrapped with fine thread. So you can see it does have, it's kind of like a roving in a sense, just wrapped with a fine thread. So if you kind of like roving yarn or yarn that looks kind of like this, then this is definitely one to check out because it isn't acrylic, it's polyester. It's really nice. Um, it does say that it comes only in solid colors. Now, I went to yarnsub.com where I like to go to see what other yarns compare to the one that I am doing a review of. So, the first on the list is Cascade Yarns Swaddle. It's a good match. It has the texture of this yarn and also single ply wrapped with a fine thread. The gauge and its exact match. The fiber content matches exactly, so it also is 100% polyester. And the qualities of this yarn are a very close match. So if you couldn't get Lion Brand, say you're in the UK or anywhere else in the world, you might be able to get Cascade Swaddle and it will be the same thing. Um, if you are in the States and you're having ill luck getting your hands on softball, then Yarn Bee from Hobby Lobby First Love is a 86% match, apparently. It's a good match. The texture of the yarn is also single ply wrapped with a fine thread. The fiber content matches exactly. The qualities of this yarn are a very close match. It does say, however, that Yarn Bee First Love is a little bit less dense. The fabric will be lighter than with the original yarn. 
So the gauge is different. If you are in Europe, Euro Baby Maple is the same as the Yarn B that I just listed off. So the texture is also single ply wrapped in a fine thread. The fiber content matches exactly and the quality is a very close match. If you prefer Bernat, then you can grab Baby Marley, though it is less of a match. The gauge is an exact match and the fiber content matches, but it is not single ply wrapped with a fine thread. Another sim similar one would be another Lion brand, Homespun. Um, so the texture of this yarn is also single ply wrapped with a fine thread and the fiber content is similar as well. But Homespun is acrylic and polyester. So it's almost all acrylic with very little polyester. So this is sort of like a redo of the Homespun. Um, it's also, in my opinion, Homespun has like funny back and forth on how their um, the yarn is kind of intertwined with the fine thread. This is very uniform and I like that about it. You can see in here the stitch definition is really good. I can see all of my stitches. I can see that this is a single crochet and these are two doubles. I mean, yes, I know what I worked, but I can actually see that with this kind of yarn. Sometimes with roving yarn, it is really hard to see that stitch definition, but I think the sheen, the silkiness, the softness, and then that, that fine thread weaving through is, you know, really what helps it create that stitch definition. And with it being 100% polyester, machine wash and dry, you honestly, I don't think it can go wrong. But again, rewind the video and find out, uh, listen to again what the close matches are, but I'll go over really quick once more. Cascade Swaddle is nearly an exact match. The difference is they don't have, they don't appear to have solid colors. They have a variegated version of this. Uh, Yarn Bee's First Love, Euro Baby's Maypole, Bernat Baby Marley, and Lion Brand Homespun. There is a King Cole Gypsy Super Chunky, but the fiber is very different. Um, and Yarn Bee Dream Spun looks very similar, but it's not quite close enough. So again, you have some options. This was actually quite affordable, even without the discount. Um, for example, if I were to go to Lovecrafts to get this softball yarn, I would find it for $6, so $5.99, and it looks like they have 14 total shades available in pinks and blues and silvers and peaches. So it's very kind of springy. Um, but yeah, they have, on the US side, they have all but one color in stock, which is the really bright yellow, which of course, same problem I had when I was looking for yellow because that's the actual Pantone color of the year. It's like a pretty sunshiny yellow. So <laughs> getting that one's gonna be kind of hard, but everything else you can get. So yeah, if you went to Lovecrafts, um, I will provide an affiliate link to that below and you can check it out for yourself. You can see what's available um, in your part of the world. I'll leave two different links, one for the US and one for everybody else. And um, then you guys can see if that's something you're interested in giving a try. And as you can see, it worked up wonderful. There isn't any funny business going on with this yarn as far as um, did it pull funny? Did it maintain shape or not? You know, it absolutely maintained a nice shape. And I like how it sits so nice. I don't have to fiddle faddle. It, it's so clean looking. I just love how it, it looks and it feels so dreamy too. So I hope this was helpful to you and I hope that you give this softball a try because this is a really nice, very nice feeling yarn, very good to work with. I didn't have any snagging troubles or um, any trouble with frogging or anything like that. So. 
Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.